Hey everyone, I'm Alex Burkett with Woodall's Campground Magazine, and I'm here with John and Garrett from Seek Secret Creek. Uh, and we're going to be starting our new supplier showcase series in conjunction with WCM's Park Update. So guys, thanks for being here. Good morning, Alex. Absolutely. Good morning, Alex. Why don't we start, just give a quick background on what each of you guys do with the company and tell us a little bit about um, how long you guys have been in business and how you got started. Awesome. Well, my name is John Gibson, and I'm the uh, CEO and owner of uh, Secret Creek, formerly Colorado Yurt Company. Uh, I purchased the business from Dan and Emma Kiger, the founders, uh, in 2020, right before COVID hit. And so uh, Dan and Emma have uh, started the business back in 1976, and they were living in a teepee at 10,000 feet above Breckenridge when somebody asked them to make another one. And uh, they ended up, uh, you know, building a business out of that that uh, today is is a thriving business here in Montrose, Colorado. And uh, we uh, currently we manufacture yurts, teepees and tents, uh, all that are constructed here in the U.S. And, and we ship them all over the world. So um, Garrett might talk a little bit about the products themselves and. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, Ken Walker, um, Director of Sales and Marketing here at Secret Creek. Um, been here uh, just a little over two years, started at the uh, end of end of 2020. So um, going through the brand changes, moving and those things and um, keeping everything rolling. Yeah. So why don't we dive in and just do a, a quick um, look at each of the three product lines. I know one of the things that I saw in just doing some, some research and seeing what's new for you guys in 2023 was a new Safari 10. Is that right? Um, that I, I saw here, if you want to talk about that and then dive into the, the three separate product lines that you guys offer. Absolutely. So the, uh, you know, the three product lines being Colorado Earth, Earthwork TVs and Destination Tents. And um, the product you're talking about, our new Safari Mule Tent, um, we're really excited about, right? The the Mule acronym obviously plays along with our, our new branding and, and the Mule being our logo. But uh, that acronym, right, is was kind of built along this, this modular uh, utility living experience, right, is what it stands for. And really what that means in a a short phrase is that we want to bring the voice of the customer to the front of what we're doing and make changes and build in features and benefits for them that they can utilize, that they can enhance and have modular features to it to add um, doors, windows, um, different screen types, uh, different security features and enhancements for it. So that's really what that product is meant to represent. We still have our legacy uh, model of the destination tent, which is a fantastic product. And, you know, this really highlights the difference of, of construction versus assembly is kind of how we like to view it, of making sure that the, the average person on the average day can have two or three of their friends that they can build it, you know, without heavy equipment or, or construction or anything like that and really have a phenomenal product um, that works for them. So we're, we're excited to get that launched. I think one of the biggest things that we see in the new uh, Safari Mule Tent is the frame system that we put together. Um, intentionally, you know, we're we're targeting uh, really that customer that we've been hearing about from the last couple of years that has been saying, you know, I, I, I want more than an entry level bell tent. Um, our customers uh, enjoy the bell tent, but there's things that they'd like differently. I don't want to go all the way to the thirty thousand dollar, you know, e extreme Safari tent. That's just not what we have. We're targeting that in-between range that, you know, on a 16 by 20 with an exterior frame and that, and our Safari Mule tents in the, you know, $9,000 range. And it's something that a two or three person crew can put up with without heavy equipment. And so yeah. uh, really targeting that large area in between those, those two markets from our customer base. Yeah, and I, and I know a lot of people are looking for, obviously the question is return on investment for these models. And I think what you just pointed out with that sort of, middle ground in price, but the way that people can raise the rate on those units and deliver a product back to their customers that's going to be superior in quality and what they're getting, but also a superior price point to where the park is able to actually make that money back quickly for the unit itself. Exactly. And one of the things we've heard about is the shortage of labor uh, across the industry and, and people that are opening small camps or, you know, whether it's one or two units or whether it's 10 to 12 units and, and they want to be able to put them up, but not have to bring in crews to do that. They want to have some opportunity to take them down, do repairs over time. You know, we we hear all the stories of what people do to the tents when, they, when they've got their guests and how can we help them with repair systems? Well, if we make a modular tent, they can actually just replace the piece that's damaged instead of having to send the whole tent back and forth. So, um, Right. And I know you, you talked about this a little bit, but you guys are making these in Colorado and then you're shipping them to the actual location itself. What does that shipping process look like? What's the timing on that? 
Um, and can you just talk about that a little bit? Absolutely. So across the product lines, right, our, our lead times have stayed really, really, really strong from, from our seat, right, in terms of a year, we're shipping those in six to eight weeks. And really, it, it, it comes down to more when the, when does the customer want it, right? We have the this ability to do it faster or meet them where they are. And with our sales team, that, that conversation is less about here's our lead time and more about, hey, hey, when do you need it? Like, and what do you need? And how can we help you the most, right? And they may not need it in three weeks. They may need it in 12 weeks. And so we want to be able to say yes as often as we can from that standpoint. And, you know, shipping on the other products, the TVs and the tents, um, again, those are in that two to three week range of, of a lead time to get one of those um, or multiple, but it's it's also the same, like, hey, what's your project look like? Like, how can we help you? What what might you need that's different than what you've been getting? Or how can we support you better and in a longer term um, partnership versus a transactional like relationship? And so that that shipping piece, right, has improved. And I think a little bit of your question is pricing on freight, timeline of freight, things like that. Um, still some volatility there, but definitely way, way better than it was. Um, exploring new partnerships with freight companies, Again, bringing them in closer as well, um, getting better at how we package products, being more efficient at it, um, and being as transparent as we can with customers to say, your product's ready to go. Um, are you ready for it? <laughs> you know, um, It's packed. It's ready to go. Like, well, When do you want us to ship it to you? Can we deliver it for you? Can we set it up for you? Um, those are all the questions we kind of go through to make sure that we're getting them what they need. I think one thing that you know we see and we're we're learning through all of the supply chain challenges and and the trucking challenges that have happened for folks is um, maybe an education point for a consumer or, or you know for one of our customers buying from us is well uh, ask any vendor that you're working with how can I save money on shipping um, because it, it, what they might find is they're driving their price up by defining the date. And saying I want it on this date. If you are flexible enough to ask the the manufacturer, hey, can I get it in this date range? That helps the manufacturer actually multi ship things on different trucks or on same trucks that have different stops on the route, um, and and they can really probably save a bunch on their shipping cost if they've got some flexibility. In. And then sort of my, my last question to you guys as we wrap up is what are really the key features and things that you're noticing people are really gravitating towards in the units and what really separates you guys from somebody who might be, you know, parallel and making the same product and what have you found is why your customers choose you and why you guys have the reputation and the quality experience that you do? Absolutely. I think one of the biggest things we're seeing and and trying to bring value to the customer, right? Um, safety and security is, is a is a repeated um, comment or or conversation that we have, right? Um, in in the sense of whether whether it's it's exactly what they may think of as security of a bolt lock door of a house, but it could be that. And we want to make sure that we're giving them that value of like, I want to lock my tent. I want to lock a teepee. Um, we're, we're working on some product enhancements with the teepee itself of, of adding in a physical door on the inside of it that has that traditional look, but gives that feel and that sense of security. Um, and the same thing with the year, right? The, the reason I think people come to us is a well-recognized name that we're continuing to build on with that brand of the transition from Colorado the year to Secret Creek. But later this spring, we're also going to be launching out a multitude of enhancements of the year, right? And it's not to buck the tradition of a year by any means. We want to, again, bring the voice of the customer closer and say, what is it you're missing? Like, what value do you want, whether you're living in it full time or renting them for extra money as an entrepreneur? What do you need out of that structure? Um, is it additional protection? Is it additional security? Um, is it little features here on the inside or the outside that make all the difference in the world to their guests? Those are the things that we're we're getting questions about and putting them quickly into action with our research and development team in 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 house. So, yeah, I think I think across the three products, you'll see. Um, you know, we say uh, you know our goal is to help you find your secret creek, yeah. um, and and really the you know that that definition of of why the brand change was uh, you know driven by you know kind of my family legacy of coming in and saying my goal is to help everybody enjoy wherever they put their structures, how they see their secret creek, and we want to make that happen for them. Whether it's the Earthworks TP, which is what we consider our closest to nature structure, uh, then we've got the tent, which is obviously an upgrade into features and functionality all the way to the earth that you've got four season 
engineered structures and that give you 365 days a year that you can rent it and get revenue from it. And then guys, where can people go if they you know, want to reach out and learn more about the products? Absolutely. Then go to our website, you know, secretcreek.com. They can call us here um, directly at our office, um, sales at secretcreek.com, marketing at secretcreek.com, um, any social media avenue that we're on, um, or they can come visit, right? One of our favorite things is to have customers come here, um, fly into Montrose, drive into Montrose, see the beautiful surrounding areas. But we have an awesome um, product village out, out front so they can see every structure, every size almost that we make of those structures and we give them a full grand tour of, of the structure themselves and our facility as well. So you got a great opportunity to, if you want to take a vacation in Western Colorado, we're halfway between Telluride and Crested Butte. And uh, later this spring, we'll be opening up the village for overnight stays. So you can come stay with us and, and experience the area as well. Sean, Garrett, thanks for being here. Absolutely. Awesome, thanks Alex. Thanks Alex. Hey, thanks guys. And thanks for helping us kick off the Supplier Showcase Series. Really appreciate it. Absolutely. Yeah.